Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance Three Kingdoms 14 on the Mysterious JG. I did what I could as far as just making sure nothing was utterly broken uh, domestically. The main thing I did actually that you didn't see was, uh, excuse me, I deployed a crane formation unit out of um, Huiji to march down south and conquer Jian Nan's territory so that Jian Nan's economy would improve. Uh, so that's kind of, yeah, where I was at. I didn't bother to go into looking at books. I'll have to do that before we conquer the last city. I'd like to see if we can get to 10,000, or level 10 fame. That should happen on its own from us taking over cities, but we will see. Um, but we've actually got our own forces from our own uh, District 1 fighting, so let's... Uh, See how things go for Earl King here. Oh, when you zoom in close, you really get a much better idea of what the geography here is. We're like, we got jungle, dense forest and jungle over here, poison marsh. Yes, yeah, this is just a terrible, terrible place that these guys are having to come through and try to fight again. But Earl King poked out ahead of his uh, other units, so he is acting as the vanguard, and we'll see if he can defeat. He's outnumbered by this unit, and it has archer support, but it's not a good fighting unit. It's a conquest unit in its formation, and the officer isn't as good as he is. We'll see if Sari arrives in time to provide meaningful support as well. But it's good to use talent and virtue. Which heals him. You want Shu, an emissary of Liu Zhang has arrived. Look behind you! I mean, Lord Yuan Chu. I've come today on behalf of my Lord Liu Zhang. I'm the Emperor, you son of a bitch. You are brave to come by yourself. For that, I will listen to what you have to say. I've come to ask for the return of Lent and Wulan, whom you have taken prisoner. Your leniency would be appreciated. We should make a friend rather than an enemy. I recommend we release them. No fucking way. We have nothing to gain by this. We refuse. Oh, I would be interested in increasing the number of our enemies. I see that is unfortunate. We should send Lent to hire Lent. Altier Rizza 1 Lent will hire Altier Rizza 2 Lent, or vice versa. Plague damage and moving. I guess Xiao Zhi grew to be a bigger city. It's a medium sized city. Okay. And this city here has probably become medium or large. Yeah, it's large, okay. I don't know if we get fame for that, do we? Doesn't look like it. Well regarded item and yay. Maybe we got fame for that city stuff, or maybe it was for battle. Hard to say. Shimmer They're going to make us work for Mindju Gate. Might really uh, damage lethal more than anything. Because he's got range, but... Uh, it's not everything. I mean, when you're fighting a tower... Or when you're fighting stationary defenses, arrows... Uh, it's better than just having melee units attacking the defense with no support. But arrows don't do all that much, unfortunately. Now, you finally took that city there... Uh, Eugene, and you are from Shangyang. Okay. Trying to be positioned to counterattack any attack on uh, Frox's Nelox unit. But, uh, sorry, Shang Yong. Oh, do I probably don't have a glut of officers here, do I?
It'll end up being Frox is taking this over. Maybe she should do... Yeah, she's better at agriculture. And then this place, which we've now fully taken over, like... It's not as important as it was to have a really good conquest officer here. We can just throw in whoever. And that would be Wenpin. Asian development, super important, brah. Okay. Meanwhile, this guy, uh, worst officer in the game, Yang Song, is still transporting stuff all over the place, I, I think. Oh, maybe he's just marching an attack unit, but I think he's transporting. Okay, so they are they are going to take out the, the... Looks like the archer unit either backed off or got destroyed, so they're fighting... Oh, Huang Kwan, maybe they had two... They, they didn't have an archer unit, they just had two melee units. So, Cao Cao's going to fight his way through all of this. And then he's going to smash his teeth against the gates, probably. Because I don't know if they have the sense to use siege units. Unless Gan Neng is a siege unit. That would be incredible if they actually were that smart. No, they weren't. Okay. But they're going to take out the fort. I think they're going to take out the arrow towers that attack them. What's going to happen is they're going to clear out everything except the stone walls. Which is what I generally do. But then they're going to get to that gate and stall. That's probably what's going to happen. Wait, there were like battle sounds. Did it? Did an enemy unit deploy? No, it's just the sound of troops marching. Okay. Chengdu is also there. Nobody's coming out to put up a fight. They're just gonna roll over and die. Uh, all right. Let's uh do the basics here. Checking for new events. Checking for useful in battle suggestions like raise unit morale. Okay, yeah, we can confuse these guys. Could be confused about, hey, how did those guys heal their troops in the middle of a fight? <laughs> Sun Xiao, the overseer proposals. Oh, you almost fooled me to thinking that was the same, that was the core of that city. By just uh, having it be really close in name. Chai Sang, Chai Sang. People will reward the rewarders. I don't know why I even come in to employ, just I guess so that they'll give me credit for having looked. Jia Kiao, you're a free officer. Now that you've escaped prison, do you want to work for us? It would be very weird if she did. Running out of time to figure out the marriage mechanic. Somebody told me there's a way to do that in this game. Chang Zhao, it doesn't seem like it should be impossible, but he was a long time loyal guy, I guess. Are we here? About 2,500. I'm trying to think if I can find somebody to dump some books on. I should be able to use plenty on you. Twenty-five. We'll just see how many you actually get for each of these. Uh, 
Oh, I see. I've got a bunch of ones that are specific to different types. Yeah. Okay. Four hundred. A hundred per tome. Probably not worth pursuing any further. All right. Let's, uh... Let's keep an eye on, uh... What Earl King's got going over here. So you guys, I'm su a little surprised at the path they took, um, but hopefully they will avoid the poison marsh. All right. Let's see the action close up. So as archers thrust their spears, morale went up. We have disordered this unit, so that's good. They're going for a tactic despite being disordered. Good for them, I guess. She went for disorder on them, even though they're already disordered. I guess she lengthened the effect. Plague, Lamage, and Wuling. I think we're going to win this fight, but we, want a very, we won't be in a very yeah, impressive yeah. shape after we do. Well-regarded item and yay! Yeah, the enemy wants us to panic. Charge, you scoundrel! Meanwhile, over here... You guys are preparing to make a massive economic difference for Jiannan, which continues to be an incredibly impoverished city. It's got a bunch of Sunsa prisoners who may or may not be costing us gold to feed. I, I don't think that's a mechanic, but I'm not really sure. Meanwhile... Yeah, shit looks like it's getting real over here, but actually it's almost all our guys just ramming up against stone walls. They will, uh, Cao Cao is going to defeat Huang Quan of Force, Quan Chuan, whatever. He'll, then there'll be a variety of fights against Archer Towers. You guys are heading for Fu Shui Gate. The other fight that we could be watching is Mine Zhu Gate, but not going to be that much to watch. Oh, Bean is coming up uh, around the long way. Letting, uh... <laughs> just letting, uh, Suba Yi take some damage before she gets started, I guess. I'm sure that's a tactic. Yeah, they're going through the Bocage. March you to there. Yeah, Bean has decided to let uh, Suma Suma Yi get the initial uh, damage on him for the hit points of the city. Where are they? I guess he just started, so we'll have to see how he's doing. We might. We might want to pounce everyone on the... Oh, you know what? Everybody pounce. Everybody pounce on Chengdu. I think it's time. We'll give Froxus Nilok more time to arrive before we pounce on Jitong. But we'll pounce on Chengdu now because our siege units are there. Yeah, the catapults could actually help with this. Um, I 
and uh, it's gonna take you. Yeah, it's it's gonna take Shiha Dune so freaking long to get there. Oh well. I guess I gotta make sure he continues to have enough food. I don't want him eating all of his food in terror. Okay, that's as much food as they're allowed to have, I would imagine. Okay. Other places that have troops on the march. Should have, like, uh, food in the 100Ks at least. Okay. I think we can uh, knock out this turn. The game ending is all we've got there. Confuse enemies, sure. Not requisitioning gold. Heal officers, sure. Overseer proposals. I'm pretty sure I could skip investment and the world wouldn't come crumbling down, but it's been my way for a long time now. Continue to try to butter up Tao now that he's finally working for us. Tao, is this the city that you were in? No, it isn't. Although this is a city that's... Uh, I was worried about it before, but I think it's pulled itself together now. If Tao is... I think Tao is waiting in the rings if, uh, to take over the main city once we need somebody to be doing something other than barracks, which Lent is probably better at than Tao. Because in the game, they're both from Lent as kind of the melee guy, and Tao is like a support mage guy. All right, let's, uh... Let's see... You are marching back. You have an overseer. Everything is kind of set. Uh, all right, let's, uh... The battle for Jean Ning. Let's keep an eye out. Now, it won't mean that much if they hold this force, because there's a bunch of other forces on their way, but it'll be something of a feather in their cap. They have... <laughs> Li Fu, you did as far to a discord state. Ha, 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 ha. Holy shit, and I thought my jokes were bad. I could get Earl King to have my back. Some number of casualties are unavoidable. Yeah, well, you're wiped out completely, so I hope... Charge! Nobody else go forward and help him now. This is all him. Talent and virtue. Well, he'll heal his own troops, which is good. Oh, it looks like uh, we're getting ready to take Manju Gate down pretty good. Or no, we took it down completely. It's out of troops. Think Wang Guy would sit idly by? Why, why is your name in blue? Are you a, are you an ally now, Wang Guy? Now that I've escaped from you, I've become your friend. <laughs> If you love someone, as we love Huang Gai, let them go. Quan Ruo is requesting to serve under me. He was a later Han retainer, father of Quan Kong, and grandfather of Quan Zhu, Ji, Duan, and Yi. He was assigned Master of Writing during Emperor Ling's reign, but abandoned his post to return home when Dong Zhuo took power. Good for him. He raised an army and joined Sun Tzu's attack on Wu, becoming a commandant in Danyang, and later governor of Guiyang middling stats, but I guess it's kind of cool that, like, he left the court when Dong Zhuo took over, like, just kind of saw the writing on the wall and got the F out. Suppose you could argue he should have fought against Dong Zhuo, but I think it's more like I don't like where this is going, and I live on the other side of China, so let me get back there and try to take care of the common peoples. At any rate, he may or may not be one of the guys who, like, refused to join us as a prisoner a million times, but we will take him now. We'll permit your service. Sway yourself to my cause. Okay, you're the emperor, whatever. You're better than Dong Zhuo. Yes, I am better than Dong Zhuo. Dong Zhuo routinely had people mutilated it, you know, in court for 
entertainment purposes. Yuan Shu has never actually done that in the novel. Okay, where's a well-regarded item in Yi? I don't care, game. I really don't. We still are showing cities with financial troubles. So we'll get these two to help with the attack on Li Fu. Probably not needed, but they will help anyway. Meanwhile, it took Bobo and Gu was it Guolong? Is that his name? Gaoshun. It took them a while to catch up. I guess I think Da Jun has unusually good maneuverability with siege units. But uh, in fact, they have finally caught up. <laughs> Yeah, let's just have them move here, actually. And honestly, Gajun and Bobo, it might make sense for them to not directly attack the city. Let, uh, let Dajun do it, because she's got the siege unit. And, uh, keep their, uh, keep their numbers intact, because I think we're eventually just gonna have a full court press, all units, regardless of type, just destroying Runa, uh, Yunnan. There's a transport unit. I don't know how well you guys are going to fare. Oh. You are from... Uh... Jiangling. Oh, you can just click area government from here. I didn't know that. Well, Tao, if you've arrived, this might be your job now. It's just to take over you as Sui. Thanks for joining our force. Get ready to go to the biggest backwater in the universe. You don't have very good conquest stats. But, you know what? We really just need... I mean, the main thing is for it not to... Territories that we take here not to get swallowed up behind us by the local peasantry and cutting our supply lines. So if you don't conquer quickly, that's probably fine. You are, uh, from Wuling, okay? Well, Huan Zhang, the Dream Master, I think we're going to, uh... Well, what the hell? We'll have you climb over the mountains to come here. <laughs> Let's send you on an adventure. <laughs> and, uh, now Wuling is going to need to dispatch somebody to... Run that zone. You'll be fine. As I was saying, the main thing is to just not have its territory get swallowed up behind us. And I keep hoping that this will mean that we get a surround and conquer opportunity. For whatever reason, there was one that briefly flashed here and we didn't grab it fast enough and the game hasn't given us another. Chengdu is toast. I guess we probably should have just had everyone pounce on it sooner. Good thing, too, Katsuma is about to run out of food. Or is he on fire? No, he's about to run out of food. Oh, no, he's not about to run out of food. His, uh... He was encircled by the enemy. Sumi Yi may end up getting defeated. Because they finally did deploy troops. They're waiting for us to dive on the city and then they deployed troops. I think we're better off just attacking Chengdu, though.
Because at this point, even if they take out Suma Yi, they can't stop Vulture Bean because they don't have enough troops in the city. And the hit points of the city have already been reduced to like half. So that was the most interesting fight, and we missed it. Oh well. Mind you, Gate, uh. I guess is now under the control of all dragon. And we'll have Tolpanzer. He's not even going to go after. Uh, he's not even going to help with Chengdu. He's going to continue his mission. <laughs> uh, he will take Fu Shui Gate from behind before these guys can get to it, which is silly. No, let's not have that. That's that's dumb. Let's have Tolpanzer get down here and uh, be in a position to help. Uh, it won't make a difference. We're going to take that city before he can get there. We might have confused enemy units hanging around who need to be picked off, though. And it does seem like they're probably there's a real good chance they eliminate Shuma uh, Suma Yi, which is kind of odd uh, that he would be picked out of all this. But uh... there we go, you guys are attacking the arrow towers. Looks like uh, Quan Wan will get wiped out. I'm hoping they have the sense to make uh, Gan Neng attack the gate rather than whoever is at the front of the line. Unless one of these other units is a siege unit. And I don't think they are. Did I do all this already? Thanks, it's you. So I do probably want to uh, heal officers. Yeah, Wuban is currently the main threat because he's uh, threatening Suma Yi. So we'll try some stuff on him. All of those were useful to us. Commerce, 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 investment. All right, let's do one more turn and call it a video. And we'll come up here and we'll follow the action at the siege of Chengdu. Successful at raising toll, Panzer toll, okay. We lowered their morale, but we couldn't restrain them. They're just too unrestrained. There's a volley from uh, Lu Bu. Chengdu's walls are collapsing as their counterforce rides out. Probably too little too late. But this might be their best chance they had against us rather than a field battle from far away from the city. Vulture Beans catapults are in range, though. That's really going to be the end of them. Luling Key's leadership has increased. Vulture Bean has decided, fuck it, it's over. Like, all three cinematics for the... City falling just happened in rapid succession. I have captured an enemy. How should we proceed? So we got Shi Yuan, Shi Jian, Quin Mi, Zhang Zhu, Duke Huang, and Liu Qi. He's the officer of Liu Zhang who fought Liu Bei's army with Zhang Ren. He never weakened. The intensity of his attack, even after becoming isolated from the rest of his army, was killed by his ally Zhang Yi. Oh, that sucks. So he's one of the better military officers that this force has when you don't throw in a lot of goofy created officers. We have a staff officer of Xu, who along with uh, Zhu Guiliang did stuff. Wei Yan and Cheng Shi disobeyed orders, causing a huge defeat. Um, he 
He's an officer of Shu, fought against the Wei army. He despised the arrogance of Jiang Yang, the Yubei's emissary. Though he served the Yubei, he was thrown into prison for criticizing the campaign against Wu. He later defeated Zhang Wen in a debate at a feast. This guy's a bureaucrat under the Yubei. This is a bureaucrat and brother of Xi Jian. Zhuge Liang granted him, or esteemed him highly. So these are basically uh, Liu Bei guys that uh, are like here physically before Liu Bei takes over. So they just end up working here. We will try to employ them, I guess. The military guy won't join us and apparently neither did anyone else. I don't feel like suddenly just executing everybody. So let's throw them all in jail. I don't know that I'll be bothering to try and hire them. And that's it. That's fame level 10. Figured we'd get there eventually. Expansion plus two. So we do get the final two slots. And uh, I think Suma Yi's unit survived. Manchong's Ka has, has arisen. Ka! Lethal Feline is the war god. That, wow, that did a lot of damage. Titch, you've done something. Liu Zhang's army has an army approaching Chengdu. That's they, they've already been defeated. Chengdu is currently in battle. There are rumors of an excellent enemy. Yay! Well, there you go, guys. Chengdu actually fell before Jitong. What I'll do before I uh, call it a video here is uh, we've got two expansion slots. They would be the two under schemes that we didn't already have. So, Pen and the Sword is all effects. So, that's... Four, five, six, four, five, six. So, that's at level 10. Um, got Strengthened Fish and Strengthened Armed Forces. Strengthened Fish. Like, we haven't done much with schemes, and I, and I don't know. Like, Yuan Shu is a scheme guy. What if we went to uh, strengthened armed? Can we find more people for strengthened armed forces? I'd like to get rid of strengthened fish and replace it with strengthened armed forces. That'd do it right there. That would mean we'd have uh, full power strengthened armed forces, which is all policies are uh, enacted uh, once uh, you know the turns click over. So now we've got five more here. We've got we've got all support policies. For the people is all domestic. So we've got for the people at eight. If we could get for the people uh, plus two with our remaining five points. Uh, we can't. Okay, reform expenditures, reform expenditures. I guess five points on schemes. Fire tax, terrains. Which is adherence. Care tank damage inflicted by cities is increased. But rather enemy city is decreased. 
We haven't really used fire attacks, have we? There's nothing here that I want to use. Foil the enemy. Produce the effect of all scheme policies. 5 minus 3. Well, that would be perfect. Now we've got, uh, we would have, uh, six points worth of all trick policies. That's, that's something. Yeah, baby. I accept my appointment as battle. All right, so we're going to call it a video. And when we come back next time, I will, uh, poke around at my cities off screen to make sure nobody's like on fire <laughs> and, uh, when we come back, it should be uh, ready to do a couple action turns in a row with only minimal uh, domestic stuff between. Bye for now.